<laughs> Hello, everybody. Hey, everybody, I'm going to be printing stuff right now, so that's fun. I'm going to be printing out the new blood rags, and I'm going to be printing out my new chat book. And I'm scared, so we'll see how this goes. Really freaking out, because I'm going to be printing. Oh, look, there's me holding this. That's interesting. This is the cardstock for the new chat book. This is rose gold. Okay. Metallic mirrored cardstock. I'm terrified. We'll see how this goes. Foil mirror. Fingers crossed. Okay, so here we are with the um, rose gold mirrored metallic um, cardstock that I'm using for the covers of my newest chapbook. And as you can see, they're all bowing up like rounded and shit. Um, and you can see the title and my name. And then the little press bit right there. It's kind of nice. Anyway, um, so the problem I'm having is that because it's metallic, um, it that it's not absorbing the ink, obviously. And the thing said this was printable. And I have now printed on it. So I guess, yes, it is printable. But will the print stay? That's the problem. So... I printed one out. Is it this one? Which one is it? I think it's this one. I, I don't know if you can see it. I touched it and the ink ran. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. Oh no. So then I let it dry and tried to see after drying if I could streak it. And I could, if you could see right there on the L... And then up here, let me see. It looks like kind of, not smudgy, but just like, it's like a, I don't know, like you can see the streak, okay? And then I tried to pull on the T right there and it kind of streaked. So I think, and the S for some reason it won't, like really hold the ink I don't know what that is about like I keep doing it and on pretty much all of them it does that so I think what I'm gonna have to do is um set it and for some reason this is the only one that didn't bow up I don't know why I have no idea all right so here is issue eight of the blood rag and this is going to be the biggest first run of one of these I've done. So I'm pretty excited about it. So again, we have Rich Boucher, T.T. Conley, me, Robert Fleming, B.L. Kohler, and Shaylin Marks. It's a great issue. I'm really excited that it's coming out. And that will be up shortly. Um, as soon as all of this is done. My printer started to stop. I don't understand.
everybody. I'm gonna do something a little different today. Um, I am going to go and pick up some wine and then I'm gonna go, I think get a donut and then go hope that my car hasn't been towed because I forgot to hang the pass in the actual fucking car. It's been in my wallet for a week. And, um, holy macaroni. And then, um, I don't know, other stuff. Then I'm going to the post office. All right, um, I'm exhausted. I just realized there's no gas in the car. Um, I went to 7-Eleven and got some shit because I am low on supplies. And um, then I went and got a donut because I'm not sure when I'm allowed to eat. But, um, so let's see here. I don't know if you guys have ever seen my bag. So this is my bag. I've had this bag for like seriously, like, oh fuck. Um, probably since like in between 1999 and 2002 is how long I've had this bag. And it's amazing. And a lot of the buttons I have on here, I've had for a long time too. And I like switch them out all the time. But, um, so this is like an old, I hate Matt wall, <laughs> but here's the city lights when I got, when I was there, that was cool. And I made this Ramones one. Um, and no, I got this one from, where did I get that? I got that from famous monsters, but I used to have a bigger one in the attics. And then this is like the first Creeperson merch we ever had. It was just like a Frankenstein head with Creeperson on it. And then I made those guys. So yeah, so it's all pretty cool stuff. Um, I think I have cigarettes in here. Okay, and I got a donut. So let me get my donut. And we are good to go. I look like a fucking crazy person. Apple fritters are life, dude. So good. funny too because like living out here like you see like a lot of celebrities and shit all the time and you don't realize it because you see them doing everyday normal people stuff so it takes a minute to sink in and when I was crossing the street from a fucking donut shop there were there was this one woman who had a walkie talkie she was walking ahead 20 feet back there were two other women so they're kind of rushing up like walking fast which is funny because there were like crazy homeless people like yelling and screaming like 10 feet away from them and I don't know how I didn't notice this before but they were like kind of hurrying and then when they got to the corner all of a sudden there were all these dudes in big jackets that said security and had like headsets and hats and glasses and shit and um they like a fucking giant like not giant but like one of those like presidential SUVs rolled up and the security guards pulled the doors open and ushered the women into the car and then it just drove off and it was like they were never there but it was just so fucking weird because I think they were shooting something down the street but um, like when you see that happen it happens so fast and it's so odd oh here's the fire it looks fine it doesn't look that bad at all dude that thing was burning for hours I guess they just burned all the shit that was in the inside. Oh my god, dude, you're just walking across the road. And then as soon as everyone sees that you stopped for someone walking across the road, like everyone jumps across the road real quick. This place across the street, that used to be a different um, Korean barbecue place that was really awesome. And they just changed it to Road to Seoul. What are they 
finish that building? Oh shit, I guess they did. They were building that for fucking ever. God, it's like I haven't been down here in a long time. Hey, I got a question for you. How many drops do you think are in a gallon? Is that something that somebody could Google real quick? Because I want to know, but I'm, oh yeah, I'm assuming that I will forget by the time I get home. Because like, no matter what, regardless, whenever I shake the fucking nozzle and all that shit to try to get all the gas out of it and make sure I get what I pay for, every fucking time, every time, Jesus Christ, everybody, dude. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so every time I do that, gas still drips. Like, I still have drops. So I'm wondering, over the course of a year, how many drips, like how much money in drips do you suspect that you drop? Okay, there's the parking cop. So if I find a parking spot, I have to make sure that it's paid. But I have a quarter. I got, yep, she's right behind me, okay. Come on, kids. It's just a crosswalk. Okay, there are two spots there. And that looks like all I'm going to be able to get. Okay. Is this one red or green? That is red. Oh, this one's green. Suckers. Okay. So this chick right here stepped in dog shit and was on the phone when it happened. Totally lost her shit. I would have too. But then she spent the next like five minutes like scraping her foot on the curb and probably just made it like a hundred times worse. But one thing I did want to talk about is um, somebody hit me up, a friend of mine hit me up. And um, she said, she's like, I feel really awkward calling myself a writer. And Maybe I'll just do a video on this. But um, I've been thinking a lot about it and kind of all the stuff she was talking about. I will say though, filming every time I leave the house makes leaving the house a lot easier. Um, because I'm getting to the point where it's like, my knee hurts so fucking bad that the thought of me having to fucking go out is just like a fucking nightmare. All right, and that will do it. Brother Hewitt. Oh, and my package is here. I got a notification. So I will open that, y'all, in a bit. Right, so because if you watch that stream I did yesterday, which is not yesterday to you now, so it doesn't matter, but um, one of the things that I talked about is how um, Jessica, the how-to artist, has been doing a lot of... Um, like vlogs and stuff about her like getting in better shape and doing all this stuff and it was kind of inspiring and it's been inspiring because I like she's been doing it for a bit but I feel like for accountability purposes it would be good if I was doing that so so that's what this is so um I'm gonna do a little bit of stuff
do my dips and my squats and my, I just, my knees hurting so bad. I just can't. But that was fun. It was nice to whew, do something. What the fuck is the parking guy doing here? <sighs> I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.